Well, it's been a while since we've made a video. Hasn't it, monkey? <laughs> we are currently in Banff, Canada. It's in Alberta. And it's known for its beautiful thick forests. You can't really see, but it's also known for its mountains. Um, over here, this is actually Mount Rundle. It has a bunch of different peaks. I think we might try to hike it. I don't know if I'll bring the dogs with me though, because there's some scrambly bits in there. And Monkey, being a pug, isn't necessarily the most agile of creatures. <laughs> yeah, it has been quite some time since we've made a video. Um, what have we been up to? You know, living life. The dogs have been doing dog things. I've been doing people things. And that is how she goes. That just seems to be the way life is. Hi, monkey! Yesterday we went into downtown Banff. Monkey! Oh! What's going on? <laughs> we went to downtown Banff and I played catch and Monkey, of course, loved balls. So he was actually able to be off leash. And just ended up running back and forth like Piggy in the middle. Haven't played that since like elementary school. <laughs> Axel loves hunting. He's so, what's the word? Vigilant, is that a word? And of course, every single bush is their bush. And if Axel says, this is my bush, Monkey says, no, 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 sir. It is actually my bush, what the hell? <laughs> oh yeah, you scraped that ground. Oh. It's really interesting having a pug and taking him for hikes. Oh, did you hear that crow? Very cool. Am I continuing on? Should we go down here? These trees are so high too. Oh my gosh. All right, let's continue on, shall we? Yeah, so it's so interesting having a pug who's active, who comes on hikes, who goes swimming, who plays ball, because we'll be on a hike and people will see him and they'll instantly just feel really bad for him. They'll be like, oh my gosh, is he, is he okay? <laughs> I've had that question a couple times. Um, we go to Waterton in Alberta often and we hike something called Bertha Lake. And we do this hike every year, multiple times a year. And yeah, I've had people stop me and be like, is he okay? And I, of course, I stop lots and I give the dogs water. It's not like, you know, we hike and we don't take any breaks. We normally take a longer time to hike because I take so many breaks to make sure Monkey's doing good because you do still have to be careful. But he's active. Like yesterday, for example, we walked 30,000 steps. Monkey was there with me. Lots of breaks, we bring water and stuff. And then we go to Banff downtown. Now you would think, you know, wow, 30,000 steps, that's a lot for anybody. And this little goof, Monkey, this little goof ball <laughs> is chasing after the ball like he just woke up. <laughs> like he's got all the energy in the world. No problems, no ifs, ends, or buts about it. And now anybody who saw him downtown would have no idea that he just finished walking 30,000 steps. But he's active. That's the thing. He enjoys it. He's got high energy. He's like a little 
freaking border collie or <laughs> he's like a Labrador retriever who's like ball ball I just have to do a full 360 here for a second because my goodness gracious I can't believe how nice it is try to do a nice slow shot of the forest see where I live and where the dogs live it's so much more dry like we hadn't saw any rain I want to say for going on three weeks now we hiked I don't know if you can see you can't really see it through there's a mountain over here like over in this area and we hiked that yesterday it's called sulfur mountain and not 100% sure why it gets its name but it does kind of stink like sulfur over there look at all this moss The dogs are like, okay, mom, are we just staying here? All right, let's continue on. <laughs> but they did such a good job. And of course we stopped, like we bring um, a nice, I don't even know what to call it, like a dish. Yeah, it's basically a glass dish that we, we bring and two camelbacks so four and a half liters of water all together and I use that and I also put it on monkey's head he likes it you know it helps keep him cool um, and the temperature around here has actually been super forgiving um, back where we live in southern Alberta it was plus 30 degrees Celsius and higher for a few weeks. Mount Rundle right there. I don't know if you can see it. I use an app um, for hiking that I would recommend for people, not sponsored or anything. Psh, I have like a hundred subscribers. <laughs> you think we could get sponsors up in here? Um, all trails is the app that I like to use when I go hiking. It, it has pretty detailed maps and then a lot of people actually use it. So we end up seeing, you know, updated reviews of the trail. Axel, let's go. See if you guys can see him. How long does it take? <laughs> let's go this way. We should probably turn around now because we have to go back to our hotel. I think we're gonna go visit Lake Louise today. I've been there once before. Never with the dogs. I think we're gonna try, there's a tea house you can hike up to. I think it takes about two hours to hike up. So I think we were gonna do that. Are you getting a good walk in, buddy? <laughs> You know, even updating a video right now, it just so happens to make sense because I am in bear country. So talking to you guys actually helps me keep safe because then a bear is more likely to hear me and hopefully stay away. I was really dumb today though and I made a huge rookie mistake. I did not bring my bear spray and we have two cans of it back in our hotel room but of course I didn't bring it huh monkey oh you're such a happy guy huh he has a birthmark on his tongue I don't hate monkey what's this sit can you see it Kind of in the shape of a heart. There it is. Birthmark. Fun fact. Well, we're going to start our trek back up here. And 
if you enjoyed getting this update video, which, oh my gosh, it's been a minute, feel free to just give a little like on the video. You know, I don't make videos often, but when I do, I think it's worth it. So you can subscribe if you want, and then you don't have to even worry about me spamming your feed because I don't post that often. And if you do want to be notified, notified, you know, we're just making words up in here. If you want to know when I do end up posting a video, the solar eclipse of when that happens, feel free to put on that little bell. Because then I think you get like an email, you get a notification when I do finally decide to post. And you get an update on these guys. Oh, they're eating something. What is it? Should we go see? What is that? Hey! Oh! Poop of some sort, huh? That tastes good? Let's go! Come on! Leave it! Hey, hey! Let's go! <laughs> what a send-off, you guys. Let's give the people us eating poop. <laughs> you know, that's what I was saying when they're rolling in something. It's dead or it's poop. And that's it. Nothing else. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this. I hope this video was a nice little distraction. Thank you for coming on a walk with us. I don't have mustache shocks on today, but monkey out. <laughs>